Hello and welcome to NAB 2017. I am here with Gordon Capes of Studio Technologies. Hi, Gordon. Hi, nice to see you here. Good to see you. Um, I am excited about the new products and some of it is new to me, some of it is new for NAB, um, but they uh, broadly I would call them um, Dante interface style boxes. Is that fair to say? I think it's fair to say over the years we've been, we had some expertise in interfacing um, party line and other intercom systems together and uh, also we've been uh, pretty good at doing announcer consoles and things that let on-air personnel and support personnel communicate with each other and about three years ago we licensed Dante because we thought that we could take our expertise in sort of these arcane intercom areas and add Dante connectivity allowing standard Ethernet networks to carry these important but kind of unheralded signals. Because, right, because at the end of the day, Dante are, are, are audio sources and audio destinations, and so if you can have a box that can interconnect those two and be endpoints as well. A absolutely, and I think that um, talent queuing or IFB and also intercom has always gotten um, the short end of the stick when it came to quality, and I really felt that production personnel, if they can communicate effectively with good audio quality, the stress of a job goes down, the efforts are, are, are more productive. And so I think that with our line of products now, you can do an awful lot of interfacing and communicating through this Dante world, which uses standard Ethernet networks. Yeah, um, so show us what you got. Sure. We have three Dante connected belt packs, which we came out with over the past year, and two two-channel models and one four-channel model. These are PoE powered, so plug it into any PoE network port and they'll establish their connections as they've been already routed or you can route them themselves. Our two channel belt packs, really the only difference between them is their headset connector. One is a uh, five pin, which supports double muff headsets that, that you might commonly use for broadcast applications where you want to have closed ear but other people who are doing more theatrical work might be using ClearCom style single earpiece headsets, single muff headsets, and this unit has a four pin XL. Now, common to both of them is simply an RJ45 for connecting to your ethernet network. It's PoE powered. Yep. Nowadays, PoE powered switches are so ubiquitous yeah. that that's really what we recommend yeah. having. Um, they take very little power they're considered uh, PoE class one devices. So that's really less than four watts and not really gonna take much energy at all. You have the ability to configure the buttons to be either push to talk or to push to latch. You can uh, assign the listen audio to be left ear, right ear, or both. You can enable the call feature. So they're pretty flexible in getting it the way you want. The call feature is interesting. We generate a 20 kilohertz tone that goes along with the audio. So most people are not gonna hear the 20 hertz tone. Maybe some dogs. Right, that's, that's right. Maybe cause some dogs to go crazy. But uh -huh. uh, other than that, um, that's similar to how RTS did it in their broadcast style belt packs. Sure. What's really unique to us, and a customer came to us wanting a four channel belt pack, because I thought, that's really impossible to have four channels on your belt to really know what's going on. And they said, no, it's not that they're gonna have four independent channels. They want to do special things like, they'll take channel four and they'll put program on it uh -huh. and they'll be able to listen. And once I learned what the application was, we were able to tailor the configuration software, which is done by taking the screw out of the belt clip and underneath there's a small push button to set dip switches and you train each unit for how the buttons are gonna work uh -huh. and how the pots are going to work. So you really get the unit optimized for what you want. So a very common application is where somebody might have the main party line intercom on channel one. Maybe they'd have their department, let's say lighting or sure. uh, maintenance on it. Channel three might be an isolated channel or not used, but channel four might be a program listen. You can program the button to be a channel listen on off. Uh huh. And you can assign each of these level pots to be left, center, or right. Uh -huh. So 
Well, this is something that people may say, why is this guy going on and on about these little belt packs? Really getting talent um, and crew the right signals can really be important to make a production go right. Sure, and by having it be on uh, work on a standard like Dante, um, you can expand it, um, you're limited only by your imagination, so you need to bring a Skype or some other wide area call into it. Uh, Dante Virtual Sound Card would be completely compatible with all this. A absolutely. We have people using um, Unity Intercom's Connect product, it's mm -hmm. a very nice product. That will take 64 channels of audio between um, two Mac computers locating any, located anywhere that there's Ethernet, I'm sorry, Internet connectivity, so that can be worldwide, it can be across the country, and using a Mac computer, the Ethernet Connect product, and Dante Virtual Sound Card, you're linking Dante networks near and far. So you could have belt packs in New York, you could have belt packs in California linked together, and it would be excellent audio quality. The, um, the nice thing also is you can start small, and you can incrementally move up, you can move down, we recently sent a university six belt packs and one of our Dante, what we're calling our intercom audio engines, the matrix that I talked about, mm -hmm. they're gonna use it for portable applications until their new building is built. Their building is gonna have a very major, as you'd expect, data network. Sure. Well, installation will take them almost no time. They'll install the one rack space piece, they'll connect it to the network, and now they can take their belt packs, plug it anywhere in the facility where there's PoE, uh -huh. and they'll be up and running. The routes will stay the same, the audio quality will be excellent. So that's some of the flexibility. So with the belt packs, we're adding the model 5422, which we've named our Dante Intercom Audio Engine. And really what it is is a specialized Dante interconnected audio processor. Sorry for all the words, but what it does is takes our Dante belt packs and combines the signals together and returns to each listening channel the right signals. It's, it's the piece that, it's the glue that links these channels together because unlike standard analog party line, you can't just bang the boxes together and you do need something to combine the signals. With this 5422, it becomes very easy to do a variety of party line and other specialized um, audio routings. and. And the audio quality is simply really, really good. It's, of course, 24-bit. It's 48K sampling. And the line between your talent queue, queuing your IFB, your comms, and your on-the-air audio has almost really disappeared. What I'd like to do is also show you a new product that we have over here. It's our Model 5401 Dante Master Clock. Love to see it. One of the great things about Dante is that they've covered all the bases of how to have effective communications over Ethernet networks. And I don't want to get into the technical details, but one of the important parts is clocking, making sure all the devices get the right time signal so that basically the audio flows without disruptions, clicks, things like that. So you're, you and your um, customer base who have used Dante knows that it's really pretty seamless. You don't typically get any audio interruptions. And part of that is making sure every device gets its correct timing signal. And while Dante by itself will pick the most effective clock, once you get into multiple devices, let's say 30, 40, 50, 60, yep. clocking can, can become an issue. We decided that having a master clock product, which is our model 5401, mm -hmm. that could on its own generate a very reliable clock or allow a facility to use a word clock or other video sync source, lock their Dante network into it, we thought that that would be a valuable thing. And that's why we came out with our model 5401. Absolutely. We'll be shipping it in a couple months. Uh -huh. And besides um, being what's effectively a PTP, a precision time protocol server, it also is going to generate test tones because we already have the Dante interface. It will give up to 16 channels of sine wave tones, 400 hertz, 1K hertz, but also channel IDs. And we think that'll be a valuable resource. It'll just be on your Dante network. You can choose those tones as you need them. And I think it'll be a nice addition. So that's what we're highlighting this year. Do you have a, a rough price point for this? I do. List price is $27.95. Uh -huh. And um, 
All you would do to use it is connect it to your network, go to Dante Controller and select it as the preferred master clock. And then from now on, all devices would look to this to take its, uh, to, to get their timing reference. You can connect two power supplies for redundancy. One AC and one DC. Right, correct. One AC and one DC, as well as two Dante um, connections if you wanted redundant Dante. So we're, we're pretty excited about it and have some orders and looking forward to getting it out in uh, about June of this year. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by.